this is part one of five of a very beginner series for belly dance basics. Now remember, here at Sparkle Life, beginner category classes for dance and fitness are done seated in a chair. So this is in the intermediate category because you are standing and moving, but it is intended for people that are just getting started with belly dance. So this, as our first session, is all about your rib cage isolations, the upper body movements. Now, a lot of belly dancing when you get started, you're not really moving too much because you can't do the movements until you can isolate your body. And that takes some time. So that's the focus today. All of these classes, these five in the series, have the exact same playlist. The music is identical. They are all 25 minutes in length. So you'll get to know the music and that will make it easier. If you start to feel like you want to do your own thing, you'll have music that you know how to play with and you'll have moves that you know fit and are at the right tempo for that music. All right, let's start right off the top. We'll get the music going. We're going to begin with rib cage isolations up and down. Let's get some sun, baby. So we're taking the chest and we're lifting it up and down and up and down. So we're not moving, we're just lifting and lowering up and down. So this is a lot of diaphragm work, a lot of core. Remember belly dancing? It all comes and the movements originate in the belly, right? All from your center. Lift, lower, lift, lower. The rest of your body, you are bent, tucked in, so you're engaging your lower abs, and we're standing strong. So these coin belts are really helpful because they tell you if you're moving the rest of your body, right? You'll start to, you'll hear it, you'll feel it. They make a big difference for that reason. Lift, lower. Pull your lower abs in. Shoulders are down. Nice and relaxed. All right, if you want to put your hands on your hips, that's great. All right, let's speed it up a little bit. Up, down. Remember, it's not your body, it's just your rib cage. All right, let's go two up and two down. Up, up, down, down. Good. If you wanna leave your arms out the whole time, that's great. Think about your abdominals. Lower abs in. Keep going, up, up, down, down. I'm hoping you feel it in your diaphragm. Okay, let's go back to singles, up, down. You can always keep your hands on your hips if it helps you stabilize. Good. Okay, great, little break. So now we're going to go side to side. So hands are in your hips to start again if you choose. Abdominals in, we're lifting your ribs up away from your hips, we're sliding over to one side, and then over to the other side. So it's this movement back and forth. 
Now we're always lifting up because we don't want to be compressing and grinding across in our back. We're always lifting nice and tall so there's traction and lift. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. That'll be our beat. Double check that those lower abs are engaged. We're not popping our bum out. We're not over tucking and trying to flatten our lower back curve. We're just engaging and sliding. Flat feet, knees are slightly bent. And again, you can leave your arms out if you prefer. So challenge how far to each side you can get your body to go, right? Really see how far you can take it over. Because your oblique muscles, you keep dancing. Your oblique muscles, they come across and diagonal down your side. So as you go this way, there's this contraction and lengthening happening that's going to really challenge, especially on this side. We want to maybe even feel a stretch here. So really work how far over you can go without tipping. Okay, this is a common start. So just think, oh, oh yeah, I am doing that. Try to stop that and take it straight to the side. So all of the rib cage movements give us the mobility and the foundation for our hip movements. Okay, really, you'll find that out as you go through these five series. You'll start to piece together. The rib cage sets the tone for the hips. Good. Okay, so this side to side motion. We're going to continue, but now we're going to do it forward and back. So I'll turn sideways, it's easier to see. It's also easier if you have one foot in front of the other. So this is a faster song. We're going to take it half time, six, seven, eight, front, back, front, back. So we're sliding our rib cage forward and then pulling it straight back. And you pull back and there is a bit of a slouch, your stomach sticks out. That's all part of it. Okay, forward, back. Okay, an easier way to think of this is pretend that there's a shelf here. Slide your chest on the shelf. Don't lift it onto the shelf, slide it forward and then slide it back because we're going for this nice flat movement. Again, watch your hips. We're not moving our hips at all. You're nice and flat. All right, let's switch which foot is in front. <clears throat> we always want to make sure we do both sides. Even though we're just doing one motion with our upper body, we are slightly twisting in our hips, and that matters developing our muscles and our isolations. And if you feel like you've got a handle on this, it makes sense. You feel like you've got some mobility, you're not crunching and slouching down in your back, then we can try it with our feet just in neutral, okay? Not one foot in front anymore. Forward and back, forward and back. And that requires different stabilization in your torso because now you can't transfer your weight onto your base. You've got to support yourself while you do it. Feel your upper back grip on the forward. And then feel your abdominals grip when you go back. Keep lifted, nice and tall. All 
All right. Take a break. Whew. Okay. We're now going to combine those three isolations. You're up, down, your side, side, and your front, back. So we begin. We're going to go up, down, up, down. Four counts. Then we're going to go to the right first. Side, 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 side. All right. Then we're going to go front, back, front, back. So four counts each. And then we'll start again on the up, down. So if you're musical, we're doing 12 counts, which means we're going to be starting over in the middle of our second count of eight, okay? which doesn't matter. But if you're musical, you're going to notice, and it's OK. All right, we're going to go nice and slow to start up and down and then to the right. Ready? And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Forward, back. Good, up and down. Good. So if you're happier counting to four, just keep counting. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, good. Think about that. Lift through the waist. Remember, we want the rib cage as high up off the oh, off your pelvis as we can. Forward. Good. One more time through. Forward. Okay, let's speed it up. Ready? Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Up. Side. Front, back. Okay, back to slow. Up, down. Up, down, side, side, lift, front and back, up, down, up, down, side, side, front, back, Shoulders down. Okay, finish this out. Side, front and back. Front, back, front, back. Okay, great. So now we're going to combine six, seven, eight. We're going to combine your side to side and you're up and down into a vertical circle. So we bend, we tuck, we're in our position, we're lifted. We take your ribs side, and then we go up to the top, to a front, to a lift, sorry, not a front, an up. And then we go over to the other side, and then we go down to the drop. So we're combining up, drop, and side, side. We're just hitting those points and tracing them instead of going back and forth. Side. Up, side, down, other way. Up, side, down. Good. Hands on your hips will help keep your hips stable. And it also helps remind you to get more lift because you can sort of push away with your hands. Now, we want to make sure that we are not going 
right? We're not wobbling the circle. We're definitely staying up. All your rib cage tips, but your whole body doesn't have to go with it. Okay, nice and tall. We're also not moving your shoulders. It's not a shoulder roll. That's a totally different type of circle. We're not getting into that today. It's just the rib cage moving nice and steady. Shoulders are down. Now, we do get more particular way later down the road as to whether your head stays in place or as to whether your head goes with you, okay? For today, in part one of the very beginner series, it, it does not matter at all, okay? Keep it attached to your neck and try not to wobble and don't worry about it, okay? So let your hips or let your head go just sort of like where it naturally wants to go. Don't feel like you have to start thinking about that. I don't know which direction you're going now. I'm gonna start this way again. Okay, let's do a few of these. Just pause and we'll speed it up. Okay, so four counts per circle. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. To the left, to the right. Side up, side down. Side up, side down. Lower abs in. Good, excellent. All right, we do the exact same thing, combining our side to side with our front and back. So now, nice and slow, we go side, around to the front, to the side, to the back, to the side, to the front, to the side, to the back. Okay, nice and slow. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it's very important with these, especially keep going in this position, right? Because you see this like uh, happening, okay? That's just part of the mechanics of getting this position. We have to be sure that we're not hanging and like compressing into our back. Okay, we don't want to be like filing a little grinding motion around one point in our back. We want to be lifting with traction the whole time. That's what gives this that lift and that isolation. It's that you can leave the rest of your body stable and you're not pressing down on it. You're pulling up off it. Good. One. Two, three, four. So, hands on hips will help give you some lift. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep your hips nice and stable. Shoulders are down. So we talked about how the rib cage is the ticket to that initial freedom of movement with your hips. I'm talking so now I'm not on tempo, so don't worry about the tempo. <laughs> and the movements here mimic the mechanical movement for your horizontal circles, which we'll get to when we get to your hips in, I think that is section four. So, um, we really wanna make sure that we're, um, we're thinking about that lift, right? We're really thinking lift the whole time because it'll help you. It'll help you when we get to your hips. Um, the circle section, now that I've talked about it, it's number three. Section one is ribcage isolations. Section two is hip 
hops and drops, so sharp hip movements. Uh, section three is circles and waves. Section four is traveling steps. And section five is shimmies. So you don't necessarily need to go in that order, but they flow better, I think, as far as understanding and then having the knowledge trickle down to, to other things. So I recommend you follow that same direction, but once you get into it, you can certainly jump in and pick up whatever session you want to work on. Okay, couple more. Remember, we're lifting. Horizontal circles are an important movement, which is why this is the longer song. <laughs> we put it on this one for a reason, because it's a movement that we don't typically do a lot of this motion, right, with support in our life. We certainly can have some side to sides because we're reaching, but that front back and then that circular motion, it's not one that our bodies are often familiar with. So it takes a little bit more repetition to seal it in. Okay, so we've done vertical circles, horizontal circles, now we're going to do sagittal circles. So those are circles that are still vertical, but they're going this way through your body, right? So this is the bicycle wheel here, then it's the hula hoop, and now it's the bicycle wheel this way through our body. So we're combining front and back and up and down. So let's go nice and slow. Here's the beat, ready? <clears throat> front, up, back, down. Front, up, back, down. All right, so with some rhythm, we are going front, back, down, front, up, back, down, front, up, back, down. And it turns into this scooping motion, scooping up, rolling down. <clears throat> so when we were learning our front and backs, it was easier to start to have one foot in front of the other. And that may be the same here, because that means that you can lean, like you really get to go forward and then like scoop it right back. And it's a little bit bigger motion than you would do. But if you over dance to start, your body will start to learn it better. So that can be helpful. Arms are out if you need to. A little extra work in the shoulders this way. And we're lifted tall, engage those lower abs. Again, lots of diaphragm and lots of upper back. So if you're a computery person, or if you've got tight shoulders, you have a tight upper back, these are gonna get you, which means they're good for you, even though they might be uncomfortable. Front, up, back, down. So this movement sets the stage for body waves, which again are in that third section. So you'll see it all come together. But it's nice to know that if you practice this and you only do this, you're still practicing your hips. You're still practicing full body movements because this is the connective part. So if you practice this, you're practicing it all, which is great. Because some days it's fun to just stand in the same spot for the whole time and just work hard. Okay, next up, we're going to combine our vertical and our horizontal circles, but we're gonna cut them in half. So we'll talk about the vertical. Imagine that bicycle wheel in front of us. So if we just chop it in half, you've got this half and then this half so that's the movement that we're gonna do so we're gonna start down and we're going to draw half and then back we're just gonna do this half center 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 okay let's do the other side up down Stay tall. Now, 
let's do the division right here. So now we have a rainbow and a happy face. Let's start over here, happy face. What's your type? Somehow I want to know all about you. Lower abs, nice and tight. Lights a spark. You already know me when you dance in the dark. We're dreaming. Okay, rainbow. Great. Okay, let's do all of that now, but with horizontal circles. That's the around one. So let's start at the front, and let's just do this half of the hula hoop. Trace to the back, to the front. Front side, back side. Front side, back side. Okay, let's do the other side. Front. Okay, let's just do the front half. Side, front, side, front, side. We come Okay, let's do the back half. Stay nice and lifted. Good. Excellent. Okay. So those are our basic rib cage isolations. So as I mentioned a few times, because I'm going to overdrive this point home and I will talk about it so much in all the other sessions as well, basic isolations are your foundation and lead to all the other movements. So the more you do your basics, the easier, the harder movements will be later. So it always comes back to your basics, okay? I've been dancing for over 20 years. I can do beginner basics all day. I love them. And I never perform better than when I'm actively teaching beginner classes and drilling basics all the time. So even if performing is not in your future or in your scope of goals whatsoever, just knowing that you're focusing on your basics gives you an excellent base of safety and working the correct muscles and just getting the most fitness that you can out of it. All right, thank you so much. I love belly dancing so much. I'm so passionate about this art form, uh, the athleticism, obviously the artistic expression, but the coordination and the body image stuff that it does to you, it's so, so powerful. So. Please enjoy the other four sessions in this series, and I will see you next time.
What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection, lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers What's your type? Somehow I wanna know all about you Deep connection, lights a spark You already know me when we dance in the dark We're dreamers See you.